Pressure from the other side. Delp at the safety up there to drop it for Nunez under pressure and sacked. Grant Delp hit on the safety blitz. Backfield. Stidham. Throws on the run, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. Knocked. Jared Stedham's first interception of the season, and it comes on his first pass at home. Second series. Throws complete. Brian Davis, and the ball came out, I think, unless he didn't catch it. And that was Delpit again. They're calling it incomplete. Three yards down to the four. And now it's Stedham on the run. Did he get there? Yes. Touchdown on him. By Slayton. Delpit gets the hit. And it's going to be short. The runner is down with the ball being short of the plane of the goal line. Ball be placed at the one foot line. Whitlow's got one touchdown today already. Will he get another? Not this time. It saved the touchdown. And now he hits a back door like White and saves a play now where it's now third down. And, uh, you know, these are tough four yards here. Third and goal at the four. We have to go with that secondary with Delpit in the middle. We haven't called his name yet, but number nine is lurking. Great technique. He had an interception last week to start the scoring for LA. On DK Metcalf at the bottom of the screen. Second and 15 to throw. Shot down the sideline. And it is intercepted. Here he is right here. He's just going to read the eyes of Jordan Tomlin when he tries to throw this bait to the outside. Look at this range, Steve. Look how far he goes to go and get this football. That is athleticism. It's anticipation. And it's executing and finishing on the back end. Look like Tom, who was missed on his last five. Third and ten. Do I hear six? Tom, who didn't feel the backside pressure, and he's dropped. Who else? It's Grant Delpit again. Plus the penalty. And now on first down, Franks wants more. To the end zone. Intercepted. And it's Delpit with the pick in the end zone. To try to tie the game, and it's a fake. And it's Blankenship trying to carry it. Down he goes. Here comes a blitz from getting heat. A wobbler had it tipped in the air. Harry and caught the end zone. DeAndre Swift from fakes it to him. Loads and throws and almost intercepted by Delpit. Trust me, this one would have been completed if the guy doesn't have a 36 inch vertical and get his hand on it. My coaching pills, but I started taking them again for the Auburn week. Another interception. Delpit picks that off. Trying to get, no, thought they might be trying for an offside. Fitzgerald in trouble. He gets out of there. Now being chased inside. Delpit gets him down. Fitzgerald, another interception. It's Delpit with a second. It's Fenborg, Denmark. Play action. Great sell job by Story. Ball pinballed. And it falls incomplete. For Joe Craddock's game plan, getting Ty Story out of the pocket, using the tight ends in misdirections. That was a good ball. Grady's got to come down with that. Oh. Sign the season. On second and ten, here's Boyd. He's able to find maybe now they'll put Stewart in motion. Looking in zone, fires. It's batted down. One second left. Quarterback with only six seconds. If he holds that a tick longer, or that ball gets batted up into the air, half's over. Yep. And you don't even have a chance for a field goal. To finish that one up for him. Third down, 10 blitz, and there's another hit. Grant Delpit very gently put Story down on the turf. Most of this game, and they try for him, and it's Delpit again. Had a pick before, negated. Said Mon was on the ground. Therefore, the play was dead. Mon to Sternberger inside the five, but he. He fumbled the football. Now they call it incomplete. It's an incompletion here. I, I don't know. It looked to me like he possessed that football before it came out. Georgia Southern has a returner at quarterback as well. Shy Wirtz running the triple option. They gain just a couple yards on their opening drive. Here at LSU in the press box. Who you here to see, and it's number seven. Watch him run the alley. That time matched up against the safety. It's a great matchup for Texas. And now the first third down of the night, third and two, and Ingram makes his second catch, and it's just a tremendous open field tackle by Grant Delpit, the All-American. 
He'll come up. He's known for his ability and range downfield, but this gives you an idea what he can do. Into the A-gap. He'll come eventually. Neal lets it go. Bat it away, and it falls incomplete. The line of scrimmage, but in coverage. Look at this turnaround. I mean, how quickly did he transition from the top of that, planting a foot and getting downhill to break that up against a big physical tight end? Establish their own pace. This looks like the pace they want to play with a big third down. I think a little bit easier preparation for uh, Michael Johnson next week. That looks like some good food. Why not come back next week? Yeah. Throwing up, and that one might be intercepted. Did Delpit hang on? He did want an interception. Position, but watch him at the highest point here. Fight off the receiver and look at the hamstring to hold on to this football as he is trying to rip it out of his hands. And that's why many experts believe Grant Delpit would be a first round pick next year. Deafening roar. Unless you dancing around, they bring some pressure. Trask gets away and has room. And he'll take a shot and be knocked down a yard short. And it wasn't working by dropping eight. This time, they bring the they bring the heat. Look at Delpit do a good job of working off of Kyle Pitts. The recognition goes down low and keeps Trask short for the first down. The backfield now on second and two. Jones looking to throw over the middle. Caught. And the ball comes out. Pitts grabbed it about the quarterback's ability to run the football. He's gonna run? Nope. Play action. Right there, throw it on a line. He can't float it. He's gotta throw it on a line, which is what he does. Now Pitts has gotta hold on to the football. Delpit knocks that ball loose with the contact there to the big tight end. You saw Trask on the sidelines leap. He thought it was a touchdown, but Delpit laid his body on the line. The safety. Probably he get Jones on the edge. He ran to his left. There he goes. Straight run. Knocked down short. Right here. He's going to set that edge, and then you'll see these linebackers being able to come in and help clean it up. Delpit's got to stay outside of Pirine. He does. A little bit of penetration there on the inside by Farrell, and it's those linebackers coming downhill to make the play. Before halftime, 3.03. They've got all their timeouts. Trask from the pocket. Hit as he throws. Dangerous throw. And it's broken up. Everybody loves Delpit. Watch the range. He can play up tight and play man to man, or watch him anticipate the throw and then the speed. Now, he doesn't come up with the interception, but as Trask gets hit, can't really follow through, Delpit is in great position to go up. Second and eight. Another run by the quarterback, another short gain. It's going to be third down and seven. Delpit. Run support where he can get involved in making plays. Look at him go right around Pirine and make that play. But now it's Emory Jones in the game off the timeout. It's a second and two from the red zone. It's a straight run to the right. And he makes a cut. He'll be met right at the 15. Right now he's in tight. Pirine motions out left. Trask running all the way, has a crease. Can he get there? No. Hit hard, knocked down by Delpit. Here he is, the starter. On week seven. Third and a yard. Hill not going to get it. No, he didn't. How aggressive will Joe Moorhead be on fourth and short here? First down at the 36. Hill. Yeah, uh, only the AM Alabama game did we not have two freshman quarterbacks in the game. Here is Schrader brought down by Delpit. Guys like Grant Delpit, he loves hitting quarterbacks, and he just laid one on him right there. He's really good at it, He's too. He's good at it, yeah. <laughs> and the front four put pressure on the quarterback. They bring an extra guy, blitz off the corner, and it got home. Grant Delpit again. And Schwartz's speed gets him the first down. 18 yards on that third and 14. Now they've got it first down at the 40 with LSU. And it's DJ Williams. And a tough yard and a half. Nix is four yards deep in his own end zone to take the snap. Williams, who's been huge today, back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and six. Nix, a quick throw from his own goal line, in and out of the hands of... Because it hasn't been a lot of plays in the middle of the field in the passing game. Again, ball thrown slightly behind. And that was a big loss. 
from the offensive line of a year ago. This offensive line is not as good for AM. Mond almost intercepted. Watch right here. I think that's Richard Lawrence just pushes the right guard right back into the lap of the quarterback. That is on ESPN and the ESPN app. Here's an interception by Grant Delpit. Bringing it back down the sideline. Flags are thrown. Here he is right here. He's going to play the deep middle and watch him just lock eyes on the quarterback. Really Kellen Mike. It's an interception. Not a very well thrown ball by Kellen Mond. Was the predecessor to Jimbo Fisher. Here's Isaiah Spiller. Boy, did they change a lot when they went from Sumlin. Charlie Warner, the tight end in the slot on top. They're going to throw it out in the flat to DeAndre Swift. Got a block for him. He only got about three yards. Pretty much 100%. He's one of the best players in the conference. Went healthy. Harrion, maybe a yard, and it's Delpit who made the tackle. Hasn't been there that often so far in the first half. Play action. Look out. Down he goes. It's Delpit with a sack. Dave Aranda, and this time Gil Delpit times it perfectly. No one there. On the ground with Kennedy Brooks, and he stacked up. Hurts is 18 rushing touchdowns this season. Brooks swung down at the line of scrimmage. Hazelwood, a five-star recruit. Terry Vincent's back on the field in the LSU secondary. Jalen Hurts. Yesterday, he was looking forward to playing against C.D. Lamb. They grew up together. They... Looking to throw, and it's Justin Ross. A trick play right off the bat. ETN takes the handoff from the receiver. LSU not fooled. He recognizes pressure right there. Let's see if LSU gets out of that. A dummy called Grant Delpit tipped his hand, showing pressure from the inside. Looks like he's backing off now. Like clock at two. Here he comes. And they've got Lawrence for a sack back at the 36. Delpit, Kirk, it was who got through. He's right here. He kind of sits back, and then he comes a little bit on a delay. I think it's good coverage downfield. Nowhere for him to go with the football. So Delpit, even though he's kind of in a safe blitz, eventually gets home. Flushed again. Has room. Makes it cut. Pays the price. Lost the ball. Lawrence coughs it up at the end of the run. Right? He's trying to trying to find room to, to get uh, some yards to run and get a first down. The ball comes out clearly. Delpit does a good job of putting his shoulder pad right on the football to jar it loose.